Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today's video is about how the clothes, the accessories and the cookware affects your health and what are the different consequences of cooking in different utensils, of wearing different accessories, of uh, choosing different fabrics for the clothes. Uh, so fabrics basically includes your cotton, your jute, silk, nylon. The accessories include anklets, necklaces, waistband, armbands, caps, shoes, earrings. Your cookware includes basically different materials for utensils, uh, constructions of material of utensils like bronze, copper, aluminium, glass, the earthenware, these are few of the different materials that are available for the utensils. Firstly, these are the different types of jewelries that one wears, arm and waistbands, chains, bracelets, anklets, ring and a hand and earrings, toe rings. So all of them have particular advantages. All of them have some of the other role to play in our body's physiology. And all of them have certain role in a particular disease as well. Just like there are stones available. So in rings there are stones impregnated. So these stones are uh, actually used for spirituality or some XYZ purpose. But yes, these rings are very, very uh, important. The necklaces that you wear, the uh, we say that Sola Shingar or the accessories for a women, those are not just for decorating or for, look, uh, for looking more pro uh, attractive it has a different medicinal value as well so these are the different types of clothes that you will see in these three seasons summer winter and monsoon in summer you usually need to wear loose clothes why do they say you need to wear loose clothes because there is a very high amount of heat a high amount of sweat and the sebaceous glands are producing so your body needs to stay at a particular temperature because there has to be an equilibrium to be maintained Secondly, people are advised to wear white more than black. Why? Because white is a good absorbent. It absorbs heat. And thus, uh, the even when you would have seen cricketers. So cricketers, in uh, whenever, they glow, uh, whenever they go to play, so they prefer white clothes because white will reflect more amount of heat and black will absorb more amount of heat. That is the reason they do not wear black clothes because if, you, if it absorbs more heat, the you will feel a little more hotter. But if you wear white clothes, it will reflect the heat and thus the, you will feel a little less, uh, less hot and you, uh, the body's equilibrium could be maintained. Next is over here in the rainy season, of course, you need to wear gum boots. Why so? Because you get, there have been a lot of potholes, there are a lot of uh, over leakages uh, out there on the streets. So you need, to, your legs needs to be protected and get safe from uh, in co coming in contact with those contaminated water umbrella because there it is a high requirement of an umbrella because once you get exposed to the rainy season to the uh, to the actual rains you might fall sick raincoat it protects your body so these are all uh, equipment these are all tools you can say they are instruments for your safety gloves you need to wear gloves because your hands needs to be protected in winter you prefer, you usually prefer jackets scarves long coats cardigans, French coats, earmuffs, certain uh, material that is uh, wool or certain fabrics, sweaters, beanies, the beanie caps. These are all preferred. Why? Not just to accessorize or look more attractive because it protects your body from the, because uh, there are cold airs, there are waves of cold breeze coming from outside and your body is not so open to them. It takes time for adaptation. So that is the reason that these clothings are preferred. Mittens for kids, for children. These are extremely essential components that are required. The next up we have is few of the benefits of the rings and the necklaces and all the other accessories. So necklaces is per, uh, perhaps one of the most important pieces of jewelry. It is close to the heart. Necklaces are also known to activate the chakras of your cardio mus cardiac muscles, cardiovascular disorders. 
so in they are said to activate those chakras according to ayurveda there are different chakras in the body so you can see the subtle benefits of wearing a gold chain around the neck uh, not just attractiveness of chaitanya chaitanya means consciousness and subconscious mind it enriches the waves of the principles it enriches the waves of the environment it eliminates the rajas and tamas particles in the actual environment so this rajas and tamas is basically there are different terminologies rajas tamas sattva tattva that is a movement energy activity excitement agitation these are all properties of rajas tamas is basically inertia apathy some dullness delusions depression so it eliminates these anxiety it eliminates these delusions it eliminates this depression so that is what is the uh, importance of wearing a gold chain creating of shatrabhav that is fighting the spirit due to creation of the fire principles uh, there are certain benefits of wearing a satvik anklet as well the uh, devi principle and chaitanya are attracted to the anklet protective sheath is formed rings of principles are formed in the anklet and there are certain shakti particles that are emitted into the environment so basically it forms a protective film in your leg in your anklet over here you can see the subtle benefits of wearing a copper bracelet so the jewelry could be made up of silver copper gold diamond depending upon the cost depending upon the requirement depending upon the production these are the different uh, materials used for the making the jewelry so here you can see activation of ring of tarak and shakti tarak and shakti is basically a spiritual savior energy creation and activation of ring of chaitanya creation and activation of ring of particles creation of a ring of marak shakti that is certain um, activations of destroyers energy you call it destroyers energy then emission of activated particles emission of a flow of principle of sun deity suraj devta that you call sun deity so these are the different advantages of wearing a copper bracelet silver silver color jewelries are preferred why so they are potent germ fighters they are antimicrobial agents silver is a widely used antimicrobial agent the therapeutic benefits of silver the oligodynamic effect of silver the oligodynamic effect is basically uh, an effect that, uh, that is produced by majorly copper and silver against viruses so in the presence of oxygen the metal silver has a bactericidal activity not a bacteriostatic but a bactericidal activity that means it can kill and destroy the bacteria not just inhibit their growth it can kill and destroy silver is a protector from the emr that is the electromagnetic radiations there are different electromagnetic radiations cosmic rays gamma rays x rays uv rays visible rays ir waves radio frequency waves magnetic waves there are different radio waves available so these waves are actually uh, silver is resistant and it provides a protection from these electromagnetic radiations silver is basically an antiseptic and a self sanitizing material it is antiseptic and a self sanitizing material over here you can see that silver is used in wound dressing and sterilization as well and it acts as a powerful shield for a body energy so the next up we have is diamond and gold diamond and gold also are very very important so diamond basically evokes feelings it brings about emotions it brings about sensitivity it attracts wealth it is said to attract wealth as well it improves the physical health offers certain spiritual benefits promotes effort affirmativity that is positivity it brings about an affirmative approach and also boosts the confidence gold jewelry gold is a material that regulates the body temperature whether it be 24 carat 22 carat irrespective but gold is something that is a thermoregulator that is regulates the body temperature wound and sore treatment oral well being overall well being treating symptoms of arthritis that is inflammation of the joints of the bones arthritis reduces stress anxiety 
is useful in skin treatment. There are gold nanoparticles from silver nanoparticles. You can just type these dosage forms that are available, gold nanoparticles, silver nanoparticles, copper nanoparticles. So these are having medicinal value as well. And gold salts are basically used. Gold salts are used in rheumatoid arthritis. Rheumatoid arthritis, that is the autoimmune disorder in which there is inflammation of the joints. That's called rheumatism and rheumatic fever. It boosts the immunity. It heals the nervous as well as the endocrinology endocrinological system so the next up we have is different types of jewelry that are available you have mantika necklace earrings eye eye nose rings banglets bangles that is armlets that is armbands rings waistband ankle toe this is kamarband this is armband these are the rings these are the waistbands these are the nose rings earrings necklaces mantika so these are different of uh, different uh, jewelries that are available in the market and each of them has something or the other as a medicinal value the mangtika helps in promoting blood circulation because when you have to apply a mangtika you distribute you partition your hair due to that there is proper combing there is proper vascularity silk is a fabric that contains protein and 18 essential amino acids so silk is uh, containing natural proteins and amino acids it is a fabric that speeds up the metabolism of the skin cells and thus it is an anti-aging material. It prevents the onset of wrinkles. It is an anti-aging material. What are the benefits of the natural fabrics? They are breathable. They promote a high absorption quality. You can breathe in and you know there is a proper respiratory system that is working out. It prevents allergies. Uh, so basically most of the people have allergies to synthetic uh, fabrics of silk wool cotton linen the because uh, they are not so used to or adaptable to the new fabric so it's better that they opt for certain natural fabrics like these and they have antibacterial properties as well so they are very very useful they prevent skin sensitivity skin irritancy they uh, even if they are preferred for bed sheets they are preferred for your cotton pillows, clothing, you have cloth tables. They are all made up of these. Why so? Because not just a material here, it's cheap, so we'll make out of it. It has certain medicinal value as well. And also remember that uh, it is a great insulator. It provides a self-thermal adjusting capacity. It is a highly, highly recommended insulator for our body. So do opt for this. The next up we have is bronze utensils. So bronze utensils are very good for cooking food, especially for those people who are obese because it helps in reduction of obesity. It maintains a good skin color condition and also improves the heart, uh, eyesight. The different materials that are available are bronze, glass, copper, cast iron, aluminium, Stainless steel, here you can see this is earthenware, aluminium, stainless steel, bronze, copper. These are the different materials uh, that are alloys that are actually used for making up the utensils. What are the three types of cookware you must avoid? The non-stick cookware is to be avoided. Why so? Because they have emission of noxious fumes and chemicals that could actually harm humans. Copper cookware is to be avoided because copper comes in contact with food and it may undergo oxidation to form cupric ions. And cupric ions are spermatocidal, especially in males, copper ions are said to be spermatocidal. And it can cause copper poisoning or copper toxicity. So that is why these materials are to be avoided. And aluminium, aluminium is basically associated with uh, cognition, that is memory and in Alzheimer's. So copper is to be, uh, aluminium is to be avoided in those people who are suffering from these. Here are the list of advantages. You can take a screenshot and just zoom in and uh, go through these advantages. Copper have uh, nickel, copper, tin have antibacterial properties. They are actually, whenever you drink water that is in a copper utensil, it is very, very uh, important for our diet. 
Uh, and also it has uh, in Ayurveda, it is said that uh, if you store water overnight in a copper utensil and drink, it's a wonderful diuretic. It's a wonderful metal. Copper detoxifies the body and also increases the oxygen level and the hemoglobin level in our body. However, how does the copper improve the immunity? It helps in fighting against the bacteria. It helps in um, combating against microorganisms. It helps to maintain a healthier health via WBCs, the germs fighting against the germs and diseases, promoting the WBCs, lymphocytes, monocytes, etc. The silverware, the silverware is extremely essential because it is used for cutlery and utensils in the household, especially in India. So they are non-toxic in nature. They are antibacterial, antimicrobial. They retain freshness. They protect from different other microbial invasion. They have a cooling effect. So you can say that they ease in digestion. Silver wear is in digestion. The next up we have is brass. Brass is basically an alloy made up of copper and zinc, 70% and 30%. And it is associated with vatta. So vatta, pitta and kapha. These are the three doshas. Vatta, pitta and kapha. These are the three doshas that are associated with our body. And Ayurveda says that tridosha is a balance of these uh, three uh, hormonological as well as different physiological conditions. The next up we have is the gold. Gold is something that is expensive, but yes, it adds up to your health. It helps in maintaining vatta, pitta and kapha. It helps in wonderful cooking as well, because if you go to see, there are so many gold glasses, gold plates that are available. Um, it has a, a different role altogether the clay pots clay pots are earthenware they are rich in calcium phosphorus iron magnesium sulfur and these are extremely essential minerals and metals that are uh, required and are demanded by our body so that is why it is important the clay pots are extremely essential because they, it does not add any poison or artificial material it is extremely natural so it contains many types of vitamins brings in alkaline nature and it neutralizes the food cooked in and acts as a natural detoxifying agent natural detoxifying agent the foremost health benefit is the circulatory system so it provides a good circulation in the body and also it is a rich source of vitamin b12 that is cyanocobalamin the next up we have is metallic energy and the formulations of the metals so you have different bhasmas in ayurveda form Loha Bhasma, Swarna Bhasma, Jasada Bhasma, Nag Bhasma, Rajat Bhasma. These are made up of silver, gold, lead, copper, iron, Loha, Swarna. Swarna means something that is gold. Rajat means silver. So these are different Bhasmas that are prepared and formulated and are extremely essential when we speak with respect to the a point of view of maintaining health that is why the materials used for utensils and cutleries are also of copper gold silver etc stainless steels and so on and so forth aluminium is to be avoided because it's not uh, useful at all and instead if you eat something that is containing aluminium it uh, aluminium foil suppose the food is packed in aluminium foil there is high chances of peptic ulcer, hyperacidity, flatulence, that is gas problems, indigestion, pigmentation, eczema, dandruff, chronic inflammation of the intestines. The non-stick cookwares, there are various non-stick cookwares that are available and they are basically a mix of chromium and stainless steel as a metal alloys. So alloys are quite useful because they do not react with acidic foods. So they are um, actually a reliable source for utensils. The cast iron is basically one of the materials that is highly found in kadhais and tawas. So they are made up of cast irons because they are rich in minerals and elements that are required in our body. The glasswares, the glasswares basically are a good conduct. He, uh, glass is a good conductor of heat. So components such as lead, cadmium are not included. They leach out in food but the amount is minimal to harm the human health sometimes of course these leaching out of these materials may cause severe harm but the quantity is negligible it's in trace amounts so it could be also used like baking trays in microwave oven are made up of glass majorly what are the different other factors that affect the health the dyes of the clothes what color 
is it fdc approved if and if it's food or whatever the color is the color must be highly safe it should be non toxic non allergic non irritant what is the nature of the fabric uh, cotton silk linen jute what is the nature of the fabric nylon whether the fab uh, fabric is tight or loose whether the fabric is extremely uh, it uh, just holds on to your skin or is it a very very loose fiber if wearing extremely tight clothes can cause varicose veins and circulation disrelaxation varicose veins is something where your veins get extremely narrowed extremely extreme pain it becomes blue the entire area feels like tingling and nanoparticles and nanofibers these are shredded from the fabric so these might further even may cause cancer because they are highly carcinogenic in nature so these are the different types of accessories like caps turbans a caps protects your hair graying it protects direct exposure to the uv rays then you have sunglasses sunglasses are extremely essential because they protect your eyes from harmful uva and uvb rays mask is extremely essential it prevents the dust and other foreign bodies to enter your mouth and oral cavity nose ear and belly piercing so there are people who do piercing and they think that piercing is actually useful so piercing has not much of health benefits though because belly piercing nose piercing but yes it uh, can help in uh, appetite control sometimes and it can actually help to get rid of migraine and insomnia there is sleeplessness and migraine is basically a head pain a headache that is extremely severe due to serotonin hormone uh, imbalance so peerings could help in these two uh, conditions the scarf and the stole the scarf and the stole is a uh, worn majorly in winter but however it protects your skin and provides an extra layering choosing pants t-shirts shirts hoodies dresses cardigans jackets overcoats french coats harem track belts track pants belts etc is very essential the belt the nature of the belt how tight is it the elasticity the flexibility uh, so these are all important parameters the socks the sh shoes the stockings the heels these are very very essential choosing an appropriate footwear is also very essential because it may cause knee and muscle pain strain in your joints calf muscles may get contracted there could be back pains and many other problems associated with it so uh, wearing stilettos wearing pumps wearing wedges wearing pencil heels are uh, boots could be a little more riskier so you need to be very careful poor, poor footwear choice can contribute to common sports injuries as well like shin splints achilles tendon corns corns are the most very very painful and there are certain corn caps available in the market you just have to apply them for 7 days or 3 days depending upon the condition of your corn and it will automatically get peeled off bunions in grow nails in grow nails again it in grow nails are very very painful bunions postural issues postural hypotension can also occur due to this problem lower back pain injuries etc so this is all for today's video thank you so much for watching it with so much of patience i hope you understood the importance of choosing clothes utensils and accessories choosing the materials for the same how important they are for our health benefits thank you so much everybody